northern Michigan, God's country, or even up north. I recently traveled three hours north in search of world-class fishing that northern Michigan has to offer. I spent countless hours casting and casting across main lake rocky gravelly boulder points in warm water bays in gravelly flats in search of that one fish that I could call my personal best. I fished offshore. I also fished from the bank. I spent many nights trolling for walleye casting for walleye in late morning in super shallow water casting for walleye after dark from the bank so do me a favor sit back relax and enjoy up north That pretty much does it. Pretty much loaded up. Oh wait, one last thing. Thanks to my buddy Keith for that birthday present. All right, now we're ready. make these videos for you guys I was asking what it was you wanted to see and the majority voted for a full on um, vlog of the entire trip so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to keep it as least boring as possible we're staying at a cabin right on the river so I'll show you guys that when we get there but cabin on the river unload the boat unload the truck and then hopefully tonight we're going to be trolling for walleye first thing. I should get there with enough time to get everything packed away and uh, motor out to the fishing grounds and hopefully boat some walleye the first night. And as the trip goes on, I'm going to be uh, targeting walleye, smallmouth, uh, brown trout. I'm rolling solo, but I've got the truck loaded down with all my odds and ends. So I'm looking forward to getting up there, guys. I appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos. This is going to be a little bit different than what you guys are used to seeing. If you guys haven't seen my Colorado elk hunting uh, from last fall, this is going to be kind of similar, except we're going to be fishing. I'm going to get off here, continue on my path north, and I'll be checking in with you guys. So stick around. Your phones, no sense in hiding all. all right, guys, so we are about 10 miles away from our destination. One thing I want to mention is Michigan is known for their terrible, terrible roads. I-75 North from Saginaw North is one of the best stretches of road in Michigan as far as an interstate goes. It's absolutely impressive. Painful part number two. All right guys, so we made it. Everything still looks good. Didn't take any real major chunks of road or anything like that. Get it in the water, tie up some loose ends and uh, go ahead and hopefully go fishing. Not as painful as I thought. Oh, here we are. Boat is officially in the water. Feels good to be back, you guys. We're on the Indian River, and I can see my Uncle Leo up there. He's getting ready to uh, catch a rope. I'm gonna throw it to him, 
and uh, get tied off, get unpacked, and then gear up for fishing this evening. Good man. That's A1 service right there. there you go. I mean, you, can't you don't even got to do anything. You just pull up and these guys tie you off. I'll go get that. Uh, he's going to be bringing you out a stack of train lines. So okay. I'll go get there and get him. Yep. And yeah, I'll be right up there. Good luck. Okay, so here it is. We've got our uh, lures of choice that we're going to start with for trolling. Clown perch over here. We've got more of a natural. We got shad wrap. We've got a wonder bread. And uh, we've got some casting lures there too. Everybody's getting ready to uh, head out. Ready to roll? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So we're uh, essentially on the last turn of the Indian River. So we come down about a mile or so. But this is the last turn that leads us out to Burt Lake. And that's Burt Lake right out there. If we can't get nothing going in out there, we've already noticed a ton of walleye in the river. So... Uh, plan B would be just to come cast in the river here. All right, we made it to the mouth of the Indian, and uh, we're going to head to the fishing spot. Check in with you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so it's a little windy. But what I'm doing is I'm going around side scanning here, and uh, we got a nice rocky point right here. I'm going to be using planer boards get them out far away from the boat because the lake is so clear the further away from the boat really the better until the sun goes down and then you can get them to bite a little closer to the boat but all we're going to do is work this shoreline in and out of i'm going to keep the boat you know 12 15 foot of water so the uh, starboard side will be a little bit deeper and the port side is going to be in a little bit shallower and uh see which side is more active and then make the adjustments. Got some guys bass fishing right off the bow up here. They're hitting all these rocky points. So what I do for the outside board is 50 feet back. And then I use these two ounce snap weights from Offshore Tackle. Snap it on. And I learned this one from them uh, Roman Axe Fishing 411 and then send it down until it hits bottom. Boom, hit bottom. And I got these cool little lights for the planer board, so we're gonna turn them on first thing so we ain't gotta mess with them later. And uh, that's that. Out it goes. Let her go back while you start getting this other one ready. Just set the drag just slow enough so it drags itself out there nice and easy while you're getting your other rod and reel set up. And then get her in your pinchers. Kick the light on, and away you go. Really knocking the dust off all the equipment. I've got two planer boards out here. We've got two planer boards out here. The sun's gone down behind the clouds. If there's walleye in here, they should start firing up anytime. So if we get hooked up, I'll uh, check in with you then. It could be a fish. I got it. It feels like maybe a fish. You just keep her straight, keep us out of the rock. Yeah, it's a fish. I don't know what. Yeah, I got it. Hmm. <sighs> 
<laughs> nice walleye. Oh yeah. All right, there he is, guys. The first one here on the night bite. Um, he took this chartreuse and white stick bait with a two ounce snap weight right up off the bottom, but a real nice walleye. We're gonna get him in the live well. All right, we got one on, guys. Another nice bolt. See him coming. Yep, I got him. I got him. Oh, he just come off in the net, dude. Look at that. Real nice. nice job. Let me get him on the net. All right. There he is. Nice Walter. Nailed that uh, crankbait or jerkbait with a two ounce snap weight. Just working the bottom. Real nice. About 10 o'clock at night. That's two for two. We're going to give her a little bit longer and probably pack it up. Nice job, bud. Marking him. Sometimes there's one person on the boat who's a jinx. It can be the, can be the cat. <laughs> yeah, well. I have my hand full. Right. <clears throat> Morning number one. Uh, we did get out and uh, knock some of the dust off the walleye fishing gear last night. Um, a little breezy, it was a little touch and go, but we did find us a couple. And they stayed alive all night in the live well, so that's good. We get them cleaned up today, but um, yeah, here we are. Indian River. Okay. <laughs> Last night was a little bit of a knocking the dust off tour for my walleye trolling equipment. I haven't trolled for walleye in close to a year, so re-familiarizing myself with my gear my equipment but i think we're gonna hit them pretty good tonight as long as the wind cooperates it's supposed to get pretty windy today but coming out of the southeast it may not affect us too bad where i want to fish but this morning i am gonna go out on the lake and try to catch some smallmouth uh, i'm gonna hit a few of the bays i'm gonna check water temps i know some rocky structury areas on the lake that i'm gonna start um can't guarantee any fish catches because this is something i've never done on this lake so i'm number one excited for it um but number two i'm also uh it's pretty overwhelming because there's a lot of little rocky points there's a lot of little shallow flats where they could be but as long as the wind holds off i'm gonna bounce around on them and try to try to catch one i mean that's really the goal is one nice smallmouth but we are going to be trolling for walleye tonight weather permitting and we'll see how that goes. I uh, slept real nice in the cabin last night. Uh, the, the cabin was totally renovated from what it's been the, since it's probably been built, but. Welcome back, you guys. It is windy. Just as I expected. And uh, today is supposed to be windy. So my first cast right there for smallmouth or really whatever wants to bite. I'll take whatever. We're about 10 foot of water. I know there's some rockier structures out here, but I have yet to find them.
All right, guys, so the wind just really picked up. This is what I'm using, the Berkley Stunner jerk bait. Yeah, Craig, it's white capping over there now. It's so clear, like I'm chucking that thing, right? You almost have to, I mean, get that thing as far away from the boat as you can. Got one, guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Get in there. Got him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that is a giant smallie. Oh my god, you guys. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this toad. <laughs> Absolutely crushed the uh, Berkeley Stunna perch. I mean, look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking toad. So I've got 20 and a half. Look at how this smallmouth is built. What an absolute beast. All right, guys, I just want to talk to you for a hot second here. That's my PB smallmouth. I'm going to gather myself here and uh, and uh, get back after it. So what a fish, guys. Awesome. Smashed it on the pause, guys. Feels nice. Oh, he feels nice. Coming out, coming out. Nope. What do we got? Silverfish. Ground trout. Nice. Easy. Hey, everybody be cool. This is where they like to do bad things to your hands. <sighs> nice little uh, brown trout here. He took the trouble of one in the face, one in the freaking, one in the freaking, uh, back and all right guys so the wind's pretty bad there's like four footers on the main lake but uh we're back where i was this morning trying earlier and didn't have any bites but i might have had the wrong bait presentation so what we're gonna do is attempt a little jerk bait bite so right out here you can see a really shallow i don't know if you can see it but a really shallow cove We like to call it the hard spot because that's exactly what it is. Uh, when we troll through here, trolling for walleye, seems like uh, it's a really good spot to get snagged up on. Big boulders, big rocky gravelly structure. So 
I'm kind of hoping. I came around wide and uh, didn't drive right over it and I'm kind of drifting into it now. So when I say this water, I'm in three foot of water. I'm really hoping I don't get snagged up because it might be a little bit of a pain to get it out. I mean, the water is, when I'm saying gin clear, you guys can see this. Absolutely crazy. Oh, there's crawdads on there. Ooh. Fish. No way, a walleye. Oh my. You guys, you gotta be kidding me. That is awesome. Let's not screw this up. Let's not screw this up. Got him. Oh my god. What a tank! Oh my goodness. That is awesome. I mean, I'm talking to you guys. Is that not cool or what? I mean, look at this. Look at this. That is a big walleye too, yes! I know I'm after smallmouth, but here's the thing. That is exciting. Don't care who you are. I mean, it's a tank of a walleye. I'm talking 10 o'clock in the morning in like four foot of water. This little rocky point behind me right here, it gets to like, it basically goes to zero foot. But I nosed in, I cast that Berkeley stunner right into that, a couple twitches and bam, produced a dandy. Well guys, <clears throat> I got her tied off, got the trolling motor charging for tonight, hopefully we can get out um, this afternoon for walleye, but the boat is a disaster, we're going to go ahead and tend to this later to get ready for a uh, walleye bite, but we do have a little dinner in there, I don't know if you guys can see him, a little brown trout, I'm going to flay him up and have him for dinner. That's what it's all about. How many how many did you guys get? Seven. Handful. What do you got there? Five. We'll just clean them oh, up and just get them out of the water. These guys don't go on the water, so they gotta go buy fish. See how that oh. works? It, they give us the fish. Okay. No charge. What do you got? Got a few in there. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. Well let's uh, let's let's if you tell a story, tell a true story. It's going to add more numbers to it. Okay. We're steady picking. The mother load's out there. You got to get through the woods. Don't find them in the lake. Well, what are you guys doing in here then? We, well, we're getting new getting bags. Getting too dry. We filled our bags up. We got dry and the mushrooms got dry. Okay, so we got that brown trout fully filleted. And this is what it's looking like right here. Seasoned, skin off. So what are we going to do? We're going to put meat side down. And we're gonna get the butter real good and warm, uh, brown it, sear it real good. And then, uh, oh, I would say about 10, 12, 13 minutes. You gotta watch it. And then we're gonna flip it over and take the drippings from here, put it on that top, and finish it. The t total process should only take about, uh, oh, I would say 11 to 17 minutes. Okay. Man, they look delicious, don't they?
You want to keep that good and hot. You're searing. So it's not like pan fried, which we'll be doing later with walleyes and other fish. But uh, this is just a different type of situation with a brown trout. Beautiful fish. Handled right. You want to get your nice flat spatula and squeeze, squeezing it down so it cooks equally all the way through. Not overboard. You don't want to get too much of it. Just enough to keep a squeeze down. Oh, yeah, just like that. Flat stuff real nice. Here comes the other process of flipping the fish gently to keep it in it. Yeah, oh, yeah you, you see this? Now, yeah. when it's doing it this way, you have your lemon already ready to go. Get some nice lemon juice on the fish, and I got some butter all seasoned and ready to go, just like this. And here comes the other part, just to finish the whole product. And you'll have some of the best eating caught out of Burt Lake or any other lake that you'll ever receive for the rest of your life. All right, here we go. Give this baby a uh, taste test. You know, when you're flaying those uh, brown trout, they are being in it with a few. If you try to get those real minor bones out, yeah. you're going to lose a lot of their flay. Dude, watch for them. They're not going to be a wide bone. It should be a straight bone, but uh, they're, they're such a tender fish, you almost can't do anything with them in, in that regard. I was checking them because I knew that was going to be an issue of sorts. Take out the screen and roll through it. Okay, I did that. There you are. That's fixed. Where do we get these mutts? <laughs> well, well, I like oh, yeah. That is good. I know it. It is. Go take a couple more. Yeah. Uh, you want me to put that crisp on it like that? Yep. Man. All right, so now we're moving on to the walleye, right? Yep. Yep. Pan fried. Just dusted with uh, uh, a special recipe, grapes, and anything else you want to use with it. We all use all different kinds of things. And here's to the fishermen, and here's to the cooks. So here we go, we got some walleye here, it's that brown trout, potatoes, coleslaw, some homemade uh, tartar sauce there, but that's uh, camp dinner for the night. All fresh caught, freshly served, right out of the lake. A little pepper on there. So they do have a local bake shop in town here with all your crankbait needs for catching walleye really everything if you're a fly fisherman they've got flies and all that stuff in here um, you know all the other odds and ends you could really think of needing uh, jigs really anything for fishing this place has it uh, party store right here in town right here got all your various jerk baits Crank baits, blade baits, hot and tots. So, yeah, this is where I stopped to get the local report and pick up some lures if need be. I'll give you guys a tour of the place quick. Didn't get to do that. So, got your bathroom here, closet there, kitchen area, fridge, you know, all the extras that you need. Got a couch there, a little love seat here. Got a bedroom here. Another bedroom here. 
you know, it's got closet space and all that for putting your stuff. Um, a little storage room. This is kind of where I got a lot of my stuff hanging out back here. Big back porch, boats back there. Yeah, just a nice little, nice little cabin. Place to lay your head and cook some food, and that's about it. All right, so using my better judgment here, um, I decided we're gonna fish from a shoreline. We're gonna do a little bank fishing for the evening. It's super windy, guys, and uh, I've got a couple more nights up here to get out and troll for walleye, so I know of a local spot we might be able to pick a few off from the shoreline. So we'll give her a shot. Um, at least we're getting out there, but like I say, it's wasn't my first choice, but it's an option. Boy, car coming. You guys getting any bites? Okay, well, good luck. Five bucks for the first fish. You want it, Karen? Five bucks for a fish? Doesn't have to be a walleye, just first fish. I hope we don't catch something big. What are you guys throwing? Right here. Throwing a fire tiger or follow. Okay. Number 11. Deep bill, or is that a jerk bait? Loader, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of snags down here, man. That's why I got the jerk bait. Is that the spot right there? Yeah, I mean, over on this side, you cast across and bring it through, and these guys over here, when they fish on this side, they bring it across that way. Big channels right here. Nice. I mean, you can see directly where the channel goes. Like right now, we're up here, so it's like I, I, I think if I just find warm water again, and by warm, I mean above 50 degrees, I think I'll find some tomorrow. Just today, it was trying different spots and trying different lures, and then I finally got, I got him to bite the jerk bait. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice, nice one, huh? I don't know, it's kind of fighting hard for a walleye. Could be a smallie? I don't know, it might be. I don't know what it is. Oh, and it's a smallie. It's a smallie. Oh, yeah. Is it or is it a large mouth? It's a small mouth. Oh, it is. Oh, oh he, he swallowed it. Nice, dude. That's a dandy. Colors on him, don't he? Yeah, he does. Weird. There you go. Nice one, man. Right off the rocks with that clown Rapala. Oh, that was sweet. I went straight out. Is it? Oh yeah, look at him jumping. Right up by shore. Oh, he's coming right in, running at me. Here he comes, one more time. Oh yeah. T-boned it. There you go. There you go. Number, oh my God, he swallowed. Look at the red eyes on him. Really? Oh, it's a rock bass. No, it ain't. Well, no, I, I know it's not. That's a nice one, yeah. A little football. For sure. Oh, another nice falling from the bank. There he goes. Good job, bud. There's one. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna smack him off. I'm just, I'm just gonna hit him like a baseball bat. <laughs> Nice one. It's a dandy. 
He's got the big one on. Is that the same lure? Yeah, told you. Told you how to count with time, huh? Here it comes. One just jumped. Right, right in here. Look, where's your light at? It's over here, I see him. One jumped over by where my lure was. Yeah, I did. I see not. Got, oh, he came off in the net. Look at that. Get him over shore now. You got a tag? Nice job, bud. Is it really? Well, it's hard to net him. We got him right on the rock, but we got him. Any jewelry? There you go. I'll let you handle him. Another nice eye. Oh, yeah. That net ain't bad, though. He flipped a little bit, but I like that big netting like that. Wow. Wow. That's half the size of that small mo. Yeah, it is. Sure. Look at that. That's a dandy. Couple pounds? Oh, I Close, if that. anything, yeah. I mean, that's. And he's got some shoulders on him. Oh, yeah. Those are loins, yeah. There's some good eating there. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? Well, uh, here's my headlamp. I gotta get back to cast him. Right there, guys. Cast him from the shore. Finally got one to bite on this clown. Gabriel's been hammering him. Um, let me get that hook out of him before he does bad things to my hand. That's a good walleye. Real nice. He hit it right close to that dock. Probably 18 inches, you think? Oh, yeah. Not a bad one. Real nice. All right. Yeah, he, no, you know, yeah, go ahead, cut him up. He's not a fan of the, uh, of the, uh. If you don't want to take cheeks out, I'll take cheeks out. Another successful trip. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got our ass kicked today trying to catch some smallmouth, but um, we did catch one walleye casting. Now we're out here trolling. We've got Taryn, my nephew's buddy. He's a co-pilot for me today. And Dad and Gabriel are out there off that point. Um, I'm starting in about 20 foot of water. Just slow trolling, and um, as night falls, I'm gonna move in closer. But as you've seen, I got the whole spread set up. We got four planer boards going. Blue and white, blue and silver, green and white, green and silver. So we'll see if we can't get something to bite. And uh, we'll check in with you guys if we get a fish on. Be able to land it yourself? Yeah, I'll net it. <sighs> now she's done, boys! Oh, yeah. Good job, boys! <laughs> Got her done. What color? Chartreuse and white. All right, guys, so the final evening, uh, Burt Lake, comes Biggie. Oh yeah, he's got her opened up now. 
There comes Biggie. But we got our four boards out. We got a long line out. Last night trolling for walleye. Sun ain't set yet, but pretty much has. There he goes. Um, they're going that way. We're going this way. Yeah, we're gonna have to get out and around this boat because we'll be in way too shallow. Uh, so yeah, last night, hopefully we get some walleye in the box. We picked a couple up every trip out here trolling. So hopefully we get a couple more for the evening and uh, wrap up the last night out here on Burt Lake. There he is, guys. Got him on that joint and perch. The bite's just starting. What time we got? 10 o'clock, same thing as last night. Walleye on the shallow board. Are we dragging a fish on that one now? Could be. I think we might be. Either way, got to get the hook out of him and get that back in. All right, guys, so last morning here, uh, Biggie made it. His boat tied off. I gotta get mine all kind of put away here and uh, tucked away. <clears throat> get some of the gear tucked down for the ride back home. But we ended up with one walleye last night. Uh, Dad's got his boat here still. Um, ended up with one walleye last night. Um, the thing of it is, on lakes like this, if you can pick up one or two or three, four walleye, that's that's a good trip. I mean, one. One's better than none, but 